Well, you guys all saw the thumbnail, so you know what I'm trying to accomplish. I want to put a linear positioner on the back end of this tubing bender and turn it into a true production machine. In the last video, I showed you how I built this manual tubing bender. If you missed that video, be sure to go check it out after you watch this one. I'll leave a link in the description below. The first step in accomplishing this was to uh, clamp a, a piece of angle iron on the side of this and then drill some holes to attach it and then get me something to build off of. After I fitted the angle iron to the back end of this, I removed it and then uh, I had drilled a series of holes into one leg of the angle and then used that to plug weld it to a piece of uh, quarter by four cold rolled flat bar. So this is going to bolt onto here and give me something that I can build a little trolley that will roll back and forth on this cold rolled flat bar. Alright, so I got the uh, angle iron bolted to the main body of the bender and it of course has the flat bar kind of plug welded to it so it isn't going anywhere. This whole thing is pretty solid. If you follow me on Instagram, you probably saw a post of uh, some skateboard bearings. What in the world am I going to do with skateboard bearings? So basically I'm going to use those bearings to create a little trolley that will ride back and forth on this cold rolled flat bar. And the reason I chose cold rolled for the flat bar is it's got a very smooth surface and it is fairly close and consistent in its dimensions when you compare it to hot rolled. So I'm going to use the little skateboard wheel bearings I'll have, you know, a pair of them on each side that rides on top, a pair that rides on the bottom, and that'll kind of keep the little trolley from being able to rock this way. And then on each side I'll have some bearings that ride on the edges that keep the little trolley from being able to twist. So it'll be able to roll up and down, but won't be able to twist or rock this way. So then I'll make a little clamp on that trolley that holds the end of the tube and then it'll keep it consistent. Like, for example, there's a part I need to make for a customer that has three bends in the tube, all of different degrees, but they all need to be in the same plane. So this little trolley can hold the end of the tube, I can make the first bend, it can move further forward, make the next bend, move further forward, and it'll keep those three bends in plane with each other. Hopefully it'll all make a little more sense when I get further along. So I cut these three things out on the plasma cutter. You can see that I used the same tab and whole kind of method that I did when I built the bender. So uh, these things are just going to go together. The little skateboard bearings are going to mount on here and this is going to be a little shuttle that moves back and forth and creates the linear slide. I'll uh, add a little piece onto here that will capture the tube so that the tube, as the tube moves back and forth it uh, moves this little shuttle back and forth. So the first four bearings mount to this plate and they control the movement side to side of this shuttle.
So the whole assembly goes together kind of like this. Skateboard bearings are pretty good. I'd say that was a pretty good test. I'm gonna go ahead and take this thing back apart and then we can go ahead and weld it. I got the uh, little trolley all welded up and the bearings mounted back to it. You can see that it uh, rolls real nicely up and down the uh, cold rolled flat bar. Okay, the other thing I did was created a little uh, clamp. Um, that The center line of that hole versus here is the right height for where the tube is entering the uh, pulley sheaves here. So uh, I just made this out of some 3 8 you know, I cut it out, drilled the holes, tapped them, and then sliced it in half. And I went ahead and uh, put a little center, a couple center punch marks there, just so I knew how to put it back together, because it never fails that no matter how carefully you measure, those two holes are not going to be in the exact same place if you spun this around. So, all right. So the next step is to just uh, figure out the location of where this needs to go and weld it in place. The easiest way to find out its location is just mount it to the tube. And I'm gonna locate this little clamp block uh, when, with the trolley moved all the way forward, because that's the worst case scenario. There's no tube sticking out to flex or maneuver, you know? So if I make it work here, if I pull the trolley out, it just makes things easier, because if I was off a little bit, the tube can flex a little in that, you know, the more it sticks out, the easier it will be to flex. So that's why I'm locating this clamp right up all the way forward to where it's entering these pulley sheaves. All right, so I've got it located. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just kind of tack it into place. I don't want the weld to ground through the bearing, so I gotta make sure I move my ground strap to this. Almost did a bad thing. So theoretically, if I lift pressure off of this, I probably should be able to move back and forth. Excellent. All right, so if I lift the pressure off of this, I can easily move this trolley back and forth, which moves that tube. And again, to me what's important is that I've got one of these parts I need to make that has three bends in the part, and each of those three bends need to be in the same plane. So all I cared about was making a clamp that held the tube stationary. Um, if you wanted to get fancy, you could make one that this clamp's end can rotate, and then you could have both a, a linear and rotary positioner for the for a bender that you have. And you can copy this same thing and add it to a, a non-homemade bender. This principle would work the same. All right, I am very pleased at how well this thing turned out. It's gonna keep that tube in position so that when I put multiple bends in a part, they will all remain in plane but I'd like it to do more than just keep the orientation of the tube straight. I'd also like to be able to use this to have reference points of where to put each bend. So if I'm making multiple of the same part, I wanna put this in the same position on the first part that I make, as well as the 10th part or 100th part that I make. So um, in that vein, I went to my local Harbor Freight 
and picked up a $4 Pittsburgh ruler. So what I'm going to actually do is drill a few holes in it and countersink them and uh, cap some little holes in here and screw this thing right down. So if this thing is screwed down on the bed of this and I rotate it, I can always look down and say, oh yeah, so for the first bend of this particular part, I'm gonna go to 50 degrees and I want it to start at 17 inches. The second bend will start at 13 inches and I'm gonna go 25 degrees, whatever. You know, you can just write down where that was and then so each part that you make will all turn out the same. All right, so I've made a couple test parts and I think uh, this is gonna be my first good part. I've kind of gone through the trials and errors of dialing this in and figuring out how much each bend stretches and all that. So let's give it a go. All right, so I set this to my first dimension. I set my bend angle to the first one. So let's give it a shot. Lift it up, move to my next bend position. Set my angle. All right. And then move to my last bend position. All right. I'm doing my little two clamp. <laughs> and I believe that's the first good part. Well, all right, that's pretty exciting. Got my first good part out of this thing. Uh, everything appears to be working very well. Um, and you'd think, you know, hey, good job. Let's just leave it here. But that, that's not me. I'm the kind of guy that likes to say, but wait, there's more. So the next thing I'm going to add to this bender, as if it needs more accessories, is a piece of unistrap. I'm going to attach this to the side here, make some stops that I can slide, you know, up and down this unistrap, and then a finger that comes down off of this so I can just move this to a stop, a set location, make the band, move it to the next location, make the next band, move it to the next location. Then I won't even have to walk around this side of the bender and you know, visually line this up on one of these numbers. I'll use the ruler for setup and prototyping things and then use the stops when I'm making production parts. Okay, I got the unistrut attached to the side of here. So that'll give me something that I can mount stops to. And for the stops, I just took some uh, flat bar, tapped it, and then over to the lathe, I took some round stock, turned it down with a shoulder there so that would kind of fit inside there and locate that. And then just put this together. The, the flat bar obviously slides inside the unistrut. And then I can kind of put this anywhere I want along there. I've got three of them that I made. So let's just say that I had three bends, you know, obviously you would take this and figure out where it was going to be, but let's just for the, let's just pretend that there's three there. All right, and then if you look here, you can see I made a little lever that swings down here below the trolley. So if you lift that up, you can move backwards. Once you're behind anything, if your tube was attached and you were moving forward to the bend, so you go 
past that stop and then it locks up to it. Go to the next band, it just rocks around that. Boom, stops there. Same thing on this last one. I'll kind of show you how that all works with a tube in it. So you grab your tube, stick it in the bender, attach the tube clamp on the trolley. Move back to the first stop. Bend one. Get up. Move it to the next position. Move my stop for the second bend. and another part. All these bends are in the same location as this one, all the same angle, both having all of their bends in the same plane. So very repeatable, perfect for the production I need to do on these parts. Well, there we have it. A production ready, homemade tubing bender. I'll get back to work on fun stuff like this now. I gotta get this mini gravedigger put back together and start having some more fun, like this. <laughs> Please, share this video on your favorite Facebook group or forums that you frequent. Consider subscribing if you haven't yet. Smash that like button if you enjoyed this video, and don't forget to look us up on Instagram and Facebook. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.